Rebecca, what's next on your list? Okay. The, the next thing on my list, admittedly, is a little bit nuts. Um, it was served to me on TikTok. And I can't really find, I can't, I, I feel like the order in my inbox has completely disappeared. I mm. don't know if this company actually exists. It was one of those things where when you click on to buy, they're like, if you buy in the next like 15 minutes, you get 50% off or something or like, you right. know, like it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I did hit buy because it's a pair of socks for my daughter who loves crazy socks. She has a massive collection of Christmas socks that she wears all year long. So fun. So I thought she would That's think cute. this is fun. They are these little white socks. Oh. I know these, Rebecca. They almost made my list of what I want. I'm interested in these. Show people okay. how it works or explain okay. it. Yeah. So it's a plain white sock, or you can also get them in black. And then it has these little embroidery eyes on it. And then yes. these little hands. And it comes that way on both of them. And then when they get close to each other, oh my gosh. They hold hands. They have like little magnets in them, them, right? They have like magnets little... in the arms. Yes. And they hold hands. That is so Could cute. I get them. So yes. I got a pair for her and I got an extra so that she can give it to a friend so they can coordinate and wear them to school and hold hands. Oh my god. <laughs> their gosh. little sock hands. With their little okay. sock people. That is oh, so, so cute. cute. Now, this is the first time that I'm actually opening them up and like seeing how well they do, I will say that the quality of the sock itself is actually pretty good. Like they're really kind of soft and silky. Like they're not like a hideous sock. I've purchased some novelty socks before that are yeah. kind of not great. Um, the magnets actually are really kind of strong. Like I was like, like, like here they are on the sock. Like I'm not sep like they're connected to each other on the same sock because they're just excited to be together and they yeah. just can't help themselves. Um, yeah. Oh my God, they're just so cute. Just look at these so little guys. Cute. Yeah. So um, cute. So I'm, I'm going to give these to her for her birthday oh, and I cannot fun. wait. But um, I don't know if I'll be able to find a link to put in the show notes. I feel like this company was no, kind of mysterious. Rebecca, I, I will be able to help you with that because that's the thing that I watched last week. And so it's every other ad in every oh, feed that I perfect. get right now. Perfect. So perfect. I will click on it and get it for you because I was like, I, I don't have time to buy this before the show, but they're so like, they're so cute. And the ad shows how the little magnet hands work and like how kids can yeah. be at school and their friend comes next to them and they stand next to each other and the little socks grab each other's hand. It's cute. so cute. And of course, the, the sad thing is, is that all of my kids are teenagers now. And I was like, look, you guys. And they were like, mom, please do not buy those for me. Like, I will <laughs> I was like, I was going to get me a pair and get you a pair. And they're like, yeah, uh -huh. no. So, <laughs> yeah, but I've been watching them like out of a sense of nostalgia. Like I'm like, remember yeah. when my kids wore cute things and they were. Yeah. So it's yes. just a, the ad is cute. We'll make sure we get a link for people because I do at least they, if they already suck at you in, they're like, well, we got her. We, we don't have to pretend like we're a real company to her anymore. They're still pretending like they're real to me. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that's so good. So cute. So cute. You guys are definitely going to, you need to see how cute these are to yeah. really, to really get the, the full effect. Um, okay. Next one on my list is kind of, I listen, listen, if it's in the health and wellness sphere, I will buy it. <laughs> I have no skepticism filter. I was hoping there was going to be some makeup or skin something in here from Meg Teats. I was like, come on. This Kelly, is... the last time I was on the podcast with Meg, she was talking about drinking chlorophyll. Like well, she... this is like related. This okay. is related to my chlorophyll discovery. Okay. Rebecca's like, okay. <laughs> I I am becoming such an evangelist for liquid chlorophyll. You guys, if you have body odor <laughs> issues or even bad breath and you've tried everything, I'm telling you liquid chlorophyll is where it's at. But that's not I was influenced via my daughter who was influenced by TikTok to buy that. That's not this. This was from an actual ad, not an influencer, but an actual ad from a company. Um, it's hydration drops from a company called Bowie, like B-U-O-Y, Bowie. And I was like, I know why they serve this to me because I am a person who gets migraines and I 
watch a lot of migraine content, okay? And one of the things that I've discovered in the past year that has really changed my life when it comes to migraine attacks is, I'm just going to try to briefly sum this up. There's a migraine protocol that um, and I can't remember the author's name, I'll put it in the show notes, that talks about how migrainers' brains uh, get out of electrolyte balance more easily than other non-migrainer brains. And so it's really, really mm-hmm. important if you have migraine attacks to have your electrolytes stay balanced and to stay hydrated, yes, but even beyond staying hydrated, it's all about your electrolytes. So I've tried all the different electrolyte powders and stuff on the markets, and there's some really good ones out there. What got me about Bowie is it comes in this little tiny bottle. I'm kicking myself. I didn't bring it up here to record. I keep it in my kitchen. You just, it's like a little tiny bottle. It's completely and totally, there's no taste to it. And so you can squirt it in your water bottle. Yes, but you can also put it in coffee. You can put it in your um, matcha latte for the day. You could theoretically put it in a cocktail. Like there's literally no taste to it. Um, I feel like I am on their marketing team. So here you go, guys. So free advertising. There's no sugar. There's no sweeteners. It has like, they talk about having like 87 different minerals. So yes, it gives you like your main um, electrolyte balance stuff in terms of like magnesium and potassium and sodium and those types of things. But it has all these other little ocean minerals um, in there. It is amazing. I I'm going to have to have this in my possession at all times now because I have been migraine free. Some other things that they talk about buoy helping with is like, um, if you, again, if you do get headaches, um, if you have like muscle cramps, this is really good for muscle cramps. If you need a little something to help ease you through a hangover, you could use a little boy and you can just like squirt. It's just like a little squirt throughout the day and just keeps you hydrated. And again, the electrolyte balance. So it's like, I want to say it's like $39 for three bottles as, but each, I haven't even gone through my first bottle yet. I mean, How you just, you, you literally like- just, I can't remember when I ordered it. I would have to look it up. Um, it's been, I would say it's been at least a month, if not okay. longer. And it's amazing that it doesn't have any taste. No taste like water, at right? all. Yes. Yeah. It like is literally it like just adding, and you just add, they say on the packaging that the length of squirt should be as long as it takes you to say buoy. Like that's it. Just like a <laughs> little squirt. Nice. And you put it in there. And it's been a real game changer for me. And I really like it. And so I want everybody to know about it. So there you go. Some free advertising for buoy. <laughs> Yeah, that, I've never heard of that. And so I do think it's interesting. At first, when you said it was, what did you say? Hydration drops? I was like, Hydration drops. are you going to tell me to get water? It's just water, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was okay, sold but, water on the internet. Yeah, that would happen And, and she's me. like, and it's tasteless. <laughs> and you just put it in your water and then you drink it and you feel so much better. I'm like, yeah, because you're drinking water. <laughs> Sounds like something a parent would do to their kids, you know, like to get yeah. them to drink something. Oh, it's for like, sure. I've put in magic juice. Oh, but. It does sound legit. So I, I am impressed. Um, I don't have migraine issues. So I hadn't heard of that idea of needing the electrolyte balance. But I mean, there are, yeah. like you said, a lot of people who could use extra minerals for different things. So that's really interesting. Haven't heard of that. You have influenced so good. me. Good stuff. All right. We have even more that the internet has uh, influenced us to buy. And there's some things that are still hanging out in our carts. We're deliberating. We're thinking maybe we'll get it. Maybe we won't. We're going to talk about all of that when we come right back. Okay, I know we're almost at an hour. Is everybody doing okay on time? Anybody I don't have need anything to going on today? Okay. All right. I had one meeting, but it got moved. So okay. okay, perfect. Okay, we're back. And today on Sorta of Awesome, we are talking about the things the internet made us buy. Kelly, what's another thing that you just are like, you know what? I was influenced. I did it. Okay. I bought it. I saved the best for last. This Ooh. I have been sitting on this, you guys. I am obsessed with this. This is me doing the David Rose gif, you know, like where you're like, oh, this is something, again, that I saw. It's an ad on social media where I don't know where I saw it first, but I I was, it's hard for me to look away. It's called the Uproot Clean 
And it's really for pet tools. Like it's for pet owners. Oh. Um, so Wait, it's is this a vacuum up, product, Kelly? It's not, it's, well, it's to get, it's, it's not a vacuum because it's just a tool, but it works to get up pet hair. So it shows the things <laughs> like being cleaned, like a carpet or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it's all like, it just pulls stuff out of the carpet. It's amazing. And I would watch it and I'd be like, mm. like, that's cool because I mean, pet hair, we have a dog who has it's short hair. Like we used to have a border collie, you guys. So border collies, you would expect to shed, right? They have longer hair. Yeah. They're very floofy. Um, so we got this dog, our, our current dog, Cassie, who is a bundle of joy is part border collie, but we rescued her. So we didn't know what her actual blend was. She has short hair. We we're like, maybe she won't shed as much. <laughs> nope. She <laughs> sheds just as much all the time. Um, so she sheds, and then we also have a cat who's long hair. So like literal, just like hairballs, just floating around my house as if I lived in some sort of a pet desert. There's hair on everything. <laughs> we also, we are a very hairy family, except for my husband. He's Asian. He has like only hair on his head. Like it just, yeah. a lot of Asian people do not have, they're not hairy people. I am from a hairy family. Hairy people. You come from my hairy people. <laughs> I do. My, my husband likes to say that, like, my brothers are the first to walk upright in our family because there's just a lot of hair. Oh my God, that's, that's so mean and hilarious. Which it's not. It is also not true because I'm like, dude, you don't even know. Go to the beach with the dads and the back hair. Like, I'm like, my brothers are nothing compared to, like, they're not Italian. Yeah. Like, let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Irish. But anyway, I have long hair. All of my kids. Even my 19-year-old son, his hair is so long and shaggy. Yeah. There's a lot of hair in our house. All of our things are covered in hair. Like, I, it is a constant battle for me because it's embarrassing when someone comes over, sits down in a chair, and they, sit, like, stand up. And you're yep. like, oh, I'm going to just just don't move, and I'm going to go get the roller. <laughs> go and get I'm the lint roll roller for you real fast. Um, but I used to try to lint roll stuff, you know, like a bed that the cat sleeps on or the couch or whatever. And it was just, it's stupid. It took so long. The vacuum yeah. doesn't do anything. Um, so I, that's why I started to watch this ad where if anybody's ever seen it, like it shows them like in the back of a car or on a couch and they just are using this little tool to kind of comb it. And it's just woof, like the hair just arises and is pulled away. I finally Whoa. bought one. I bought a medium one. So it comes in different sizes, like mini that you could use on your clothes. They sell one that's kind of the size and the look of a Swiffer that you could actually do oh. on like area rugs or like big spaces. Okay. I bought like the original. It's just a medium sort of tool. So I was like, okay, we're going to try it. Bought it on Amazon. That way now I can return it. And you guys, it works exactly as they advertise. Nice. Like that's why I say I'm obsessed with it because I, I think. It, I'm a couple months in, and so now I can actually go like scrape something and get all the hair off of it without calling my entire family to come watch. Okay. Like, yes. At the beginning, I was like, "You yeah. guys, come look at all the hair! Like, I mean, <laughs> handfuls of hair off of like yes. a window bench." And they're like, yeah. "Yeah, mom, it's hair." Like they don't care, you know. I'm like, "I'm this is the answer to so many problems." So now I don't have to just walk around and see like, cause the hair, you know how it is, even in your car, just anybody else, if you have a pet, I don't know what it is about car fabric, but like the yeah. hair in beds, yeah. you can vacuum and oh, it just yeah. is like, I'm not going anywhere. Like it somehow like weaves itself in. So you could even do it on your car and it pulls it right out. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Um, I, this is my favorite by being influenced by an ad ever. Because it works so well and it's not really available like in a store, yeah. you know, um, that sort of thing. And I did watch the ads because they, it was kind of like that t- cleaning TikTok sort of idea where they're yeah, like yeah. showing you the cleaning and you're like, right. it's so oddly therapeutic to it watch is. them like, you know, do a whole bed and you, you didn't even see hair there. And then there's like right. all the hair that they gather off of it. Yes. I think it's just like that. And so it, it's worth every penny if you have pets. Um, because it's, it's not, it works better than a, than a lint roller. Yeah. You're not going to have to waste the tape, you know, like you can just use it, pick up the hair and go on with your life. Um, so reusable and yeah, we've done it to our clothes too. Like it doesn't work quite as well, but the size that I have, but like we'll do black pants yeah. or something. It's, okay. it's awesome. So it's called uproot clean and they're usually pet hair removers. Although I think they're working on like a lot of us are like, why don't they just make one for our pets? <laughs> literally like, I, just wanna, 
do that. So I think they're kind of, they have some like de-shutters and stuff, but for the most part, what they do is these cleaners to use on your furniture or your rugs, things like that to make a hair-free home. So good. So many people are going to be so excited that you talked about that for sure. For sure. I know. And I know you love a, a vacuum, just like a, like a, a, a removal tool. A, a product. Re- yes. I mean, so this wasn't a vacuum. It yeah. works Right. Like a vacuum is, you know, in a yes. specific sort of way, but it, it's not like it's battery operated, you know, yeah. like this is literally just like fine mesh metal that yeah. somehow gets at, um, so that's, I guess the one warning I would say is that it doesn't work great on like a quilt because it okay. will pull at little threads. Uh, um, right, 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 right. Okay. But that makes you know, sense. most furniture or your rug, yeah. it's not going to matter. Okay. All right, Rebecca, how about you? What else do you have on your list? Okay, so like I said before, I don't feel like I am that much of an impulse shopper. So mm-hmm. as I was thinking through this list, it kind of I kind of got a little bit stuck um, until I do remember a time I was quickly influenced. Um, back in February of 2019, I yeah. actually I joined a cult. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Missed that in the podcast. I, I know the cult that you're talking about because I know so you. I am holding up oh, a sweatshirt. The cult. <laughs> so Laura Tremaine took the internet by storm in February 2019 by wearing a rainbow sweatshirt that she found at Walmart. Yes. And suddenly everybody – like. Everybody was buying these rainbow sweatshirts. Indeed. I don't remember exactly how much they cost, but they were pretty cheap. I think they were maybe oh, like they were twelve dollars fi- or like something. Twelve to fifteen dollars max. Yeah. Yes, and they came in different colors. There was like four different cololors, and I. So I still have mine. I still have oh mine. My gosh, I that's still so wear funny. it on a fairly regular basis. Oh. I mean, this was a twelve dollar investment that was well worth it. I have gotten. My money's worth out of this one for sure. Um, yes. I went to Laura's uh, Instagram profile to see if she had anything still on her profile about the sweatshirt cult. And she does. If you scroll all the way back in her profile highlights, it is yeah. uh, the oldest highlight where you can watch <laughs> the whole journey uncover as everybody oh on the internet gosh. started buying sweatshirts and tagging her in their stories and she reshared them. It was oh. it was fun. <laughs> that was such a moment of like unity and love and light unified through a sweatshirt. That was so fun. I cannot believe you still have it. I love that so much. Oh. I mean, I can believe it. I hold on to I clothes and things way surprised. too long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes with being frugal because there's – like I think I gave mine to my daughter because I wasn't wearing it anymore and she may have gotten rid of it at this point. But like it, there was nothing wrong with it. You know yeah, what I mean? I yeah. was just like I had others – I bought new sweatshirts that I wanted to wear. So I'm yes. not surprised that that's smart, Rebecca. And like you said, you've gotten – I think we've all gotten our money's worth. Yes. <laughs> we all probably only spent $13 on it. Yes. Oh, that's so fun. What a blast from the past, for sure. Um, The last one that I wanted to talk about, my first two were pretty practical, pragmatic, like useful in your life. My third one is completely just for fun. It's ridiculous. Nobody needs this in their life, but it's so fun. And actually, this is the only one that is on my list that didn't come from a social media ad. One other place that I am heavily influenced by is BuzzFeed's shopping lists. Like they have like these, you know, wild uh, headlines that are very click clicky, you know, like yes. 39 home products will change your life forever. And I will read <laughs> through those. And you guys, I have, I have supported BuzzFeed's endeavors <laughs> so many times <laughs> when I click through those links and I'm like, Buzz I actually cult. do need this. It is going to change my life. I can I got this from a BuzzFeed shopping list. Okay. Um, let me, I'm just going to read the name of the product because I think that might make it, might be the easiest for me to just start talking about it. It is a, it's by a company called Rabbit Goo. That's weird. Let's just all admit that okay. uh, on you. Amazon. It is a privacy film and it's like rainbow privacy film. It looks like stained glass. So this is like a window cling. 
Okay. You can put this on um, windows or glass in your house. I first was introduced to this concept because the kids and I had been in a museum and I picked up like a little, a, a small one of these, a little window cling that is this like rainbowy prismy color film material and put it on my kitchen window. And now when the sun hits it, it's like a little rainbow in my kitchen. And it's also like um, in the shape of a plant and I love plants. And so it was like having a plant in my window, except when the sunlight comes through, it's rainbow. You can use this anywhere. You could put this like if you have, for example, um, a bathroom that has a window in it and it like there's no, maybe it doesn't feel very private. You can put up this window clean. It gives you a little privacy, but also when the sun comes through, there's rainbows in there. Well, you guys, <laughs> I put this on the sunroof in my Suburban. So oh. now when I'm driving around, when I pull back, you know, like the, the closure on my, my sunroof, now I can have rainbow light filtering Aww. in to my car and it's making me so happy. There is no need anybody would have to do this. This is crazy, but it's just kind of like, oh, I actually did get it. It was like, first of all, it was like $10 on Amazon, which makes mm. it really easy to hit by. But also um, with all of the changes we have in schools and campuses this year, I'm going to be in my suburban for many, many more minutes and it will end up being hours per week than I have in the past. So I'm just like, how can I make my, my, my momming hours on the road a little more fun for me? Cause I'm the one doing all the taxi driving here. And this is just adding literal sparkle. <laughs> I love my it. life and I love it so much. It's so That's fun. Awesome. So, but how does it, it truly come? Does it come like on a roll and is it? Yeah. Or how yes. do you apply it? You cut it down to size and mm -hmm. all that. I, I used an X-Acto knife. You would want to use an X-Acto knife. You can buy a separate kit if you don't have an X-Acto knife. I mean, you could do that. Um, it, the kit comes with like a spray for like spraying like alcohol and whatever you're going to put it on and wiping it down, rubbing alcohol um, and an X-Acto knife in, oh, like a little mini squeegee. I just used a credit card. Since this was going to mm -hmm. be on the sunroof in my house, I wasn't like too worried about the perfect application, but it does come on a roll. The sunroof you can... in your car. Yes. What did I say? The sunroof in your house. <laughs> no. No, but maybe someday. <laughs> um, the sunroof in my car. Thank you. Um, I wasn't too worried about it. I might be more so if this was something that people were going to like see a lot. But you could truly like if you have, I don't know, whatever window where you want a little extra privacy, but also a little extra fun. It's really great. Rabbit goo. Well, thank you, rabbit goo. <laughs> and it feels like it could just be if it comes off easily. Like, oh, yeah, I guess that's totally. the, the question. Yes. You know, like, I don't know that you've taken it off because why? You, you're enjoying yeah. it. Um, but it seems like it could just be a fun thing to do for a kid yes. for a little while, like their bedroom window. Like Absolutely. Something like yes. that that just makes them happy. Or yes. even I could see, I don't know how much it covers up, but could you do it on a side window in like a minivan for like a toddler? If the window they look oh, out, I don't know yes. if it would block your view. You know, like if that would be troublesome for the police. I don't it how might... much you can see through it. You know what? It's not that see-through. I did, okay. uh, Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think it would actually be safe on a window that you need to be okay. able to see out of. Because it, because it is does pretty, block enough of the light. It, yeah. And it's yeah. surprisingly thick for as okay. cheap as it is. So yeah, I do think it would be something more where you're okay with not being able to see through okay. whatever window or glass you're putting it on. So that was oh, I will say point. that we had a house in um, San Jose when we lived there. It was like the oldest house that we've owned. It was built in the early 1900s and it had just been remodeled when we bought it. Somebody had taken a bedroom and made a, like a master or a primary, I guess we're supposed to say now that's better, primary yeah. uh, bathroom and big closet out of one of the bedrooms. And so it, in a very creative use of space, they put the shower right up against the wall under an eave. And then there was a window in the shower, like, you know, out, but you were up high. So I just never really, we just kind of left it open because it was California yeah. and didn't worry about it. Um, but like, I, I always wondered that, like who builds a window into the shower? But I think it was because of the way the airflow in the house went, all that sort yes. of stuff. But that would have been a fantastic. And I know there, that's, yes. there are definitely people who have windows in the shower or mm -hmm. you know, a window next to their 
tub, something like that. Yeah. That they would like to have some light through, but don't really want everybody to see. Exactly. Everything. Exactly. And this is perfect for that. Yeah, so, cool. okay. Before we wrap up, as we've both, as all three of us have mentioned, you know, there's things that you see on social media and you're like, maybe you do put it in a cart or you watch one freaking ad for it. And then that's all the ads you get for the next week. But there's things that we're just kind of deliberating like, mm, I, I saw this. Am I going to get it? I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Don't worry. Our social media overlords won't let you forget that you were going to get this. <laughs> but Kelly, do you have anything that's just kind of like hanging out there that you're like, I might get this. I don't know. I have two, really. And I feel like I need to mention both because I want the awesomes to come and tell me what to do. Because again, the ads alone don't always influence me that well. The first one is pros, hair care. Oh, yeah. Like the personalized shampoo and conditioners and things like that. I'm having a really hard time finding, like, I feel like my scalp has outgrown my old shampoo. And yeah. I even paid, like, top dollar for, like, a very, like, salon style shampoo. And mm -hmm. it is not working for me. Like, it, she's like, oh, this bottle, you know, use like a quart, a, a nickel sized amount. And I'm like, girl, like, no, like I'm, I'm having to use, like I've already used half the bottle. She's like, it should last you like six months. And I'm like, it's been like three weeks. So that was a lot of money. Um, yes. I mean, I want to try something that I'm like, I don't, because otherwise you're just staring at the, you know, like what works for some people doesn't always work for you. Yeah. I feel like, especially in the summer, my head gets really itchy because of the humidity sure. and just sweat mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, and I really don't love washing my hair because it takes so freaking long. So I'm just like, I want something that I know will work, you know, like that will deal with my actual scalp more than my hair mm -hmm. yeah, um, and will work and make my hair smell good and all those things. So like pros seems interesting to me and I keep watching the ads and they keep sending me different types of ads. You know, they're like, yeah. Ooh, maybe she wants like blonde or maybe she wants gray pros. Like, you know, like they're <laughs> always like, where are you going to be? They're sending me all the different types. Um, I watch them all. Yes. I haven't pushed by yet. So someone can come and tell me their experience. That would be great. The other one, and this one I actually saw on a friend's feed, went and searched it. So now I'm getting ads, are the ice cube trays to make little sphere shaped ice balls, which is just yeah. super fun to say. Yes, yes, um, yes. And like if you watch the ad for them, like you fill up this tray and then you put on a tray on top where the water kind of splurts out so that it can be the actual shape. And then the coolest thing is that you make them and it gives like a little ice bucket to keep in your freezer that you dump them in with a little scoop so that you can scoop out your little ice and put it in your drink. I don't even use ice that much, you guys, but this is so <laughs> cute and so fun. I don't yes. even think it's, I don't know that it's a texture thing, like, you know, like the Sonic ice sort of idea. I don't think it's crunchable that way. It's just small and cute. Yes. Um, and so like it's in my, I've put it in my cart in Amazon and then I take it out. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like, Save right, for later. It's there. Mm -hmm. Save for yes. later. And so then I can go back and be like, do I want to buy it now? No. no. Do I? No. Yeah. Because it's not, they're like 18 bucks. Yeah. And I don't yeah. really have room in my freezer. And I have <laughs> an ice maker. That's my problem. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like I have it you know, in my fridge. It's got an ice maker. It's not cute. Um, and it tastes icy fridge ice, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but I'm very tempted like this. I feel very influenced by needing little ice balls. You need to get on ice TikTok with the ice restocking <laughs> no, videos. I oh, oh, I told my kids that's what I wanted for Mother's Day is I wanted an ice haul and just a haul of all kinds of different ice but yeah. I too, they, okay, spoiler alert, they did not get that for me. Um, and I, I don't even know also what don't use ice. Is. Like just, oh, yeah, I just see? wanted them, to, I wanted them just to make me all kinds of different ice. Okay. <laughs> but I, I don't that even, idea. that's kind of fun. I don't even use ice. I use ice maybe, like my sister has come over for lunch at my house and she will bring herself a cup of ice because she knows that it's not a guarantee that we will have it. <laughs> That's hilarious. We have ice except for the ice maker. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I, I don't know that I care enough about ice if I had to you know do it myself to make trays like we did in the olden days. And we had to walk up the both ways. Yes, um, I wouldn't make it probably, but somehow I have been influenced to think that I need. It's like, well, ice maybe that's your all time. answer, Kelly. If you're not gonna make it, <laughs> maybe you don't need it. <laughs> No, but the fancy Maybe. the fancy ice videos on TikTok are so 
fascinating. I cannot turn away from them. They're so interesting. I can't either. We'll, we'll have to see if we can send you one so you can experience. Well, and, and that's what it does it, right? Is I love these videos. Like, they're very good at making very, oh, yeah. like, oh, wow. Like, I just want to watch a little bit more of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you watch it, and then they're like, they must want it. And sometimes you're like, I don't actually want it. Well, now I kind of do. But, like, I just want to watch you do it. Yeah, I just want to watch you yes. do it. Yes, yes. So yes. yeah, send me the video. I I could get into the TikTok thing as long as they're not going to try to make me buy it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rebecca, how about you? Anything that you've been deliberating that you're just maybe a little too skeptical about or not sure if you'll use it? Well, mine is very ice adjacent, and mm. that is <laughs> a simple modern tumbler for oh my, gosh, my water. Why haven't you gotten one of these yet? <laughs> I'm furious with you right now. We have been preaching the gospel of Simple Modern on this show for literally years, since before Nico was born. So I know it's been four years. Rebecca. Wow. Just Rebecca. buy it. I have never seen this level of passion out of our Enneagram 9 friend ever. <laughs> you made She's me access my 8-wing and I don't even have an 8-wing. <laughs> I mean, she, okay. she had to grow an eight wing. <laughs> to grow an eight wing because I'm so mad that you have not gotten yourself a simple modern tumbler. Okay, here's the thing. I don't use any tumbler. I drink water while I am at home out of a drinking glass. Like like a like a regular old glass. Like you're of a water. pioneer. Like a yeah, cave yes. woman. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I, 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 I don't have a job. I didn't know that was home. possible. Still, <laughs> yeah, it's all I drink. This <laughs> is like a drinking glass. So I'm just not sure that I actually feel like I need a tumbler. I'm not like transporting all of my hydration for the day okay. with me as I'm venturing from the home. Um, okay. So I don't know. I, I'm gonna. You know what? Pairing that with your revelation that you sometimes don't have ice in your house, I, you know what? I, I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to walk back what I said because <laughs> maybe you don't need this. For me, the absolute pure magic of the simple modern is that I like when I drink water, I need it to be ice cold, like icy, ice, ice, ice cold. So I will fill up my simple modern tumbler with ice, put the tap water in, and it stays so cold for so long and I love it so much. If that doesn't speak to your heart, how do you feel about coffee? Because on the other hand, it will keep your coffee hot, hot, hot all day long. If you I like your temperatures those... to be the extreme, you no, need the simple modern. I'm, but if you're okay with I'm, like room temp, then no, I'm more of a know. moderate for sure. I, I don't want <laughs> <A> centrist. <laughs> Your real temperature centrist. <laughs> I want to be able to drink my coffee at a temperature that is not going to burn my mouth. And okay. I don't want to get brain yeah. freeze from my water. I, I, yeah. I just, I just need okay. the liquids to go down. And also when okay. I'm carrying things and I would be carrying like a tumbler, I'm not sure I want something I need to carry on a handle. I kind of like the idea of like a loop, something I can like get uh, with my fingers versus like, I, I don't know. It's a whole... It's, it's a, a whole debate in my head. Yeah. Okay. So well, it's I been will... in my cart for a long time, but I just haven't hit by. I will say, I promise you, if you do end up buying it, you will not be sorry. I have like literally like five of them that just float around. Kids use them. I use them. We love them. So They're many. also an Oklahoma based company. So we're huge fans, but that's so impressive. Um, okay. The thing I'm deliberating. Maybe you guys have seen that. This is a Facebook ad that I got. I made the mistake again, watching it all the way through. Now this is, I get this all the time. <sighs> is the Bleem Crystal Hair Eraser. Have you guys seen these? It's like, it's I like have. a, no. it's like a stone. It looks like a, it looks like a bar of soap, except it's a stone and it uses some kind of wizardry that I'm not sure uh -huh. I would understand. <laughs> Nano crystalline technology. And you're supposed to be able to just rub it on wherever you, maybe your brothers could use this, Kelly, where you have a little extra hair growth that you don't want. You just like rub it on your skin and supposedly 
the hair, I mean, I'm doing this on my arms. I don't really have hairy arms, but I'm just, I'm showing you that you're supposed to be like rub it on there and the hair comes off and like a hair removal. I have gotten this ad so many times and I've really deliberated because it seems like it'd be so nice for shaving for like your legs, right? No shaving, just like rub it on there. Rebecca, you look skeptical. I'm and skeptical. Honestly, when, I, <laughs> when I was researching the show and pulling up the link for this, I think I've answered my own question about this. Because I had only been reading comments on Facebook, on the Facebook ads for these. But when you look it up on Google and like read Google reviews, the reviews are awful. <laughs> the reviews, okay. like has, it has 1.4 stars Google reviews. And people oh. are like, I knew this sounded too good to be true. I got a rash. It tore up my skin. This doesn't work. Don't do it. So, hey, what I say? Awful. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I call like, it. it seems like one of those things that they talk about. I've seen other similar ideas in products lately where they're like, it barely hurts. And then people yeah. get it and they're like, it was like I was pulling every individual hair out with a micro tweezer in yeah. slow motion. Like yeah, it was yeah, yeah. so painful. I did yeah. what, what was there? Wasn't there like a friend's episode where Joey gets like waxed? because oh. he's going to be in something and like like before she even starts like she pulls a little bit he like jumps off the table and is like <laughs> I screaming feel like i remember that yes you know it's it's like I, I always picture that kind of idea is like if you're trying it and you're like ah like that's that can't be good yes so i'm glad yeah. you did the research megan that you're not here to say well, thank goodness for Swarovski. I think I'm going to get the it. Research. We have to come back and tell people, like, please <laughs> disregard. Disregard, yes. Okay, well, guys, this was so much fun. I loved talking about all of these products with you, and I'm. It's so good to know that we're in good company. Of the, the we're influenced. Even the most skeptical amongst us sometimes are like, you know what? I'm going to try that thing out. So, um, let's see if people want to find us all around the web. Kelly, where is the best place to find you? You can find me at kellygordonmn.com, which is my website. So if you're looking for any recipes we've talked about in the past, you can find me there. Social media wise, Instagram and the sort of awesome hangout and also on threads. It's all at kellygordonmn. Awesome. Rebecca, how about you? My website is simplyrebecca.com and you can find me all over on social media at simplyrebecca. Okay, you can find me at sort of awesome Meg on social media. You can find sort of awesome wherever you are by searching that sort of awesome and also including don't forget youtube go find us on youtube especially for this episode so you can see our various reactions to each <laughs> other's experiences um this was so fun you guys thank you for making time for a little group show love so awesome and awesome thanks so much for listening we'll see y'all next time